Hi, welcome to my channel Forex uh, videos and today we're going to do a quick video on the MT4 Telegram bot and we're going to show you how to set it up so first of all you can download the source code from my repository at github.com slash Dennis LWM slash MT4 Telegram bot recon so the, there are three fold, uh, two folders here the first is where the actual expert advisor files are located and the second folder is the include files so you need to copy both these folders um, into your MT4 directory and I'm going to show you how in this video go to the file menu and click on open data folder and then double click on the MQL4 folder and you will see that there is an experts folder as well as an include folder already in the directory so now all you have to do is to copy those files that I mentioned earlier and do the same for the include folder so just copy all the files in this folder and paste it into the MQL4 include folder now you can attach the expert advisor into any chart on any time frame so just click and drag onto the chart and then when it opens up inputs you need to enter your token for example I have a token here and it's just a long string of text now if you click OK if the bot runs correctly you should be able to see on the display the bot name which I have named it as deck profit bot and the icon should be a smiley face now in order for this to work you need to enable the server settings or sorry the expert advisor settings which is to allow automated trading to tick that checkbox and to tick allow DLL imports as well as to tick the allow web request for the listed URL and within the list itself you need to enter the api.telegram.org URL in order for the bot to work so once you've done that click OK after you've copied the files to your MQL directory you need to restart the app and after you have restarted it you should be able to see the telegram recon expert advisor under your expert advisors tab now we need to open up the telegram app and send a message to our telegram bot and you should be able to get a response so some of the messages that the bot recognizes are listed at in the help command so let's do that now we go to our web app here and I've already logged in so log into your telegram app and under your bot we will type the help message and if everything works you should be able to see a list of commands so let's take a look at the 
first command which is the account and here you can see your account number followed by your currency and your balance etc right as I have do not have any orders I will not be able to execute um, most of the order commands except maybe the order total as you can see there are no orders in my MT4 account now we will quickly take a look at the code for the telegram recon so we've imported some of the include files which is the plus init plus big telegram as well as a C plus bot recon include files now there is only one user settings which is the token for the telegram API now when you create your telegram bot you will be given a telegram API token and this is where you need to tell your expert advisor which telegram API that he needs to communicate with now let's take a quick look at our include file which is the C++ bot recon dot mqh file the class C++ bot recon is inherited from a parent class called C custom bot and most of the functions have already been defined within the parent function so now we only need to specify what happens when we receive a text message from telegram so in the loop here for loop here we actually check whenever there is a new message received from telegram we pass the telegram chat box to get a string text and we then process the text and return a message back to the telegram app in the first if statement we check for the command slash order total and if it's true we then send a message with the chat ID and we return a number indicating the total orders that we have in our MT4 account so as you can see this loop only checks for messages and returns a message and we do that for all the commands so we have our string order trade here which is slash order trade and we have our slash history total here and our slash history ticket here and our slash account here and right at the end we have our help message which lists all the available commands whenever the user types the help command as I said before because this class inherits from the parent class C custom bot we do not need to worry about how the functions are implemented in the parent function we just basically use the chat ID from the parent so as you can see here we have already declared a chat object using the parent class C custom chat and therefore all the variables that are defined in chat we do not need to care how it's implemented and we return the message using the MID from the chat object again we do not need to know what the MID is we basically just return it so that we can able we can send our message back to the telegram bot now if you remember 
this include file actually includes the plusbot recon.mqh file. Now this is another include file which contains all the messages that we want to return. So for example, we actually return a string that from the function bot orders total and we also have a function called bot orders trade and bot orders history total bot orders ticket and bot account now we need to define and write these functions itself in the plus bot recon include file which I will show you here right now so you can see for the function bot orders total we have to return a string because remember that the telegram bot is a chat application so everything has to be returned as a string and basically this function uses mql4 code which is uh, orders total for example is an mql function that returns the number of orders in your current account and so if there is zero we would return the string total equal zero etc so I have defined some helper function here that converts a key value pair into a string and it's basically defined at the bottom here where any key that has a value will be returned as a string so we, if the value happens to be an integer I would call the string bot in helper function and if the value happens to be a double I will call the string bot double function etc so this helper function will all return strings now let's take a recap so basically the expert advisor for telegram recon the only thing we need to worry about here is the API token which you input when you attach the EA to a chart there is no other code that we need to modify here in the include file C plus bot recon this handles the communication part between our MQL expert advisor and the telegram bot basically we listen for any chat messages that come in here and we process the command we make sure that it's a command by using an forward slash to differentiate it from idle chatter and once we have identified the command we would send a message using the chat.m slash id which comes from the parent class and we do not need to know how it's defined or where it comes from however we need to define our message that we send back in the function bot orders total and this functions bot orders total can be found in the other include file called plus bot recon dot mqh now once we do that we will be able to communicate with the telegram bot using our own commands and custom messages so that's all for today's video I hope you enjoy it and if you have any comments and would like to know more or take a deeper dive into the code leave a comment below and give me a like and subscribe to my channel thank you